right, so here we go. Part two. Are you a just cause kind of guy? Well, um, this is basically going to be about the uh, the gift giving side of that 70 30 portion that I was talking about with D. Um, but anyway, uh, since it is Valentine's Day, I, and uh, I did come across a, a, a good gift to. Uh, so I, I want to recommend to you guys, if your significant other is actually into aromatherapy, uh, Dee picked up aromatherapy last year sometime and she's been like really getting into it and seeing the benefits and all the great things about it. And um, she was like, well, it'd be kind of cool if I could if I could diffuse on the go and this and that and the other. So she was like, I wish I could do something like that. And then she happened to stumble across this, uh, this mobile diffuser. Well, it's really a bracelet, so it's it's really like jewelry, but it's also has a, a purpose of being a uh, essential oils diffuser. And she found it on Amazon, and I just randomly picked it up because I was listening at that point, uh, paying attention to one of her interests, and it's kind of cool. It comes with um, multiple felt pads where you can just drop the the little diffuser oil on it. It has uh, two bands. Uh, the both of them left. This one's pink, the blush pink. This one is uh, black. But it's it's cute. It's pretty affordable. It's only like 20 bucks. Just pick it up and grab it. Prime shipping. It was here in two days. And just go ahead and give it to her. Like it's it's not like this is her only Valentine's Day gift. You don't do that. You just you want to be consistent and just giving, giving, giving. It doesn't have to be a holiday to give. I mean, I'm gonna do something totally different for Valentine's Day just because. That's my love. So, back in video one or part one, I actually talked about if you had kids, just leaving a, uh, a brown paper bag in the uh, in the master bedroom or master bathroom, and then just bouncing. What that brown paper bag is is basically it looks like this. It's brown, but it, it's colored black. You want something like this? Uh, this thing called Lush. They have a website if they're if they're not any. I'll put a link in the description below. Um, if you don't have one close to you, you can always order online. It may not come in a brown paper bag, but get little things like this in the store. It's called a bath box. Kind of cool. Wifey put me on this stuff. One of those beauty things she was talking about, I glazed over, but I did listen. So just randomly go and pick some of those up. They cost about like seven, eight bucks. You only need like two or three at a time. If she's frugal, she just chop it up. Or if she's feeling lushy, she'll throw the whole bomb in the, in the bathtub. But either way, she's gonna enjoy it. Uh, it's just some things I like to do, just randomly just go and do it. You don't have to have a special occasion to spend $20 on your mate, is all I'm getting at. Like the roses were 24 bucks. So I was out buying G Free Oatmeal for Little Man at Whole Foods and I. Uh, they come to find out they had roses on sale. Two dozen roses for 24 bucks. I thought that was a deal, so I just picked them up. Brought them home to the wife. She loved them. It's simple as that. But let me put you on some, some spots that's, that's legit, like on the flower game. Super cheap. Trader Joe's. Oh my goodness. Trader Joe's is, is really a two-fold ministry. You can go in there and get uh, flowers for the loaf like three four five six bucks for like a bouquet and they're they're fresh cut and they even have the little wax stuff if, if you're just trying to decorate the crib or whatever but also they also have like sweeties for your sweetie and something i came across and and just stumbled upon because you gotta go through there slow it's not like a traditional store where you just walk through and you can breeze through they have stuff everywhere on like and they use every ounce of space in that store and you have to look at like every shelf come to find out i found these sweeties for my sweetie and oh boy they are a blessing especially when you pair it with some lint chocolate so you melt this lint and dip the churro bites in it anoint it it's just simply simply good but like it's it's it's, it's simple because Dub has a sweet tooth, but I want her to also not be to where she's just packing on unhealthy things because we have goals and I'm trying to lose more weight. She's trying to stay where she's at, so we don't want to be too outrageous with our sweets. So we have to be selective. And those, are, those aren't bad 
they're they're baked uh, churro bites, but it's not bad. But it's it's a treat. You know what I'm saying? You don't do it every day, so it, it, it's kind of like the the flowers. You don't give the flowers every day because then it becomes a routine and mundane and and almost expected. Just like you don't eat sweets every day because you're just gonna blow up and get chunky. But <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description below for both items. The uh, for Trader Joe's um, for the, the it's called an Ava oil diffuser bracelet. I'll leave a description below for that. Uh, another great spot for your flower game. The Fresh Market. You can get an inexpensive romantic type of gift just on a random Friday night. You and you and your SO just sitting chilling at the crib. You run out fresh market real quick. They have the dozen, dozen chocolate covered strawberries, dozen roses for twelve dollars. You can't beat that. And it's just a surprise. You know what I mean? And while you're there, you can um go ahead and grab you a steak or something because there's nothing like ask your lady, ask your significant other. There's nothing like you cooking for them. So me, I'm always in fresh market at least once a week. Just to just to see what they have on sale because a lot of their stuff is expensive. So you got to be picky and choosing what you get in there. But they run great specials, it's, and one of their great specials is their meats. And I go in there, rack of ribs, two ninety nine a pound, and it's fresh market. So it's not that that antibiotic and uh, steroid fed meat. It's that that non GMO stuff. So if you want to stay healthy and you want to. You want to be able to treat your wife right, and that the meat tastes different, and it cooks better too. So they do. They run specials on steaks. They run specials on chicken, ground beef, bacon. Oh my goodness, we're not gonna go on the bacon, but we're gonna stick to the, the gift giving side. The thing is, like, yeah, I do. I do the Louis bag thing, the little nice expensive heel thing, but I don't do that as often as I do the flower game, the the, the cooking, the the random small gifts. And like, like little trinket stuff. She loves that stuff. And that, to me, to me, I think that's even more important and more engaging for her because she likes that stuff more. She loves both. Like, don't get me wrong. What woman don't want a expensive luxury bag? So, whatever ideas you have that you want to share, put them in the comments below. We can uh, we can share our thoughts, share our, our little secrets, our little trade secrets for for how we give to our, our significant others and our loved ones. And let's keep the conversation going. All right, if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like the video, hit the like button. And if you subscribe, go ahead and hit that bell so you never miss an episode.